Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you how to crochet this very pretty and easy winter hat. This hat has made with a waffle stitch and it's only two rows repeated. Uh, I don't use ribbed band for that, but uh, you can uh, make a ribbed band first and then start the body if you want. Uh, I make child size, you can adjust uh, that for each size you want. And I uh, used a worsted weight yarn and number five millimeters crochet hook you can uh, use each yarn you want uh, if you're ready let's get started for the beginning make a slip knot and I make some chains at first the number of chains should be enough to cover the circumference of the head when we join them together and uh, the number of chains should be multiple of three so I continue making chains until I need. I made 66 chains totally. You may need uh, more chains or less. Now, without twisting the chains, join last chain to first chain with slip stitch into first chain and now start the body with two chains and make one half double crochet into each chain across yarn over insert the hook into next chain and yarn over pull a loop yarn over pull through three loops on the hook again yarn over insert the hook into next chain and yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through and repeat that i make one half double crochet into each chain across Okay, at the end, join with slip stitch into second chain of two chains at the beginning of this round. And for next round, chain two, but these two chains don't count uh, as a stitch. And I want to make one front post double crochet around same stitch. So yarn over, insert the hook from front to back to front again around first stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and yarn over pull two then make one double crochet into next two stitches so one and two and repeat that make one half double crochet around next stitch this is next stitch insert the hook around next stitch and make one front post double crochet and two double crochet one and two again make one front post double crochet here and one double crochet into next two stitches one and two and repeat this sequence until the end one front post double crochet and two double crochet at the end Join with slip stitch into first front post double crochet and start next round. Chain two and make one front post double crochet around same stitch, yarn over, insert the hook around same front post double crochet and yarn over, pull through 
and make one front post double crochet. Now, I want to make one back post double crochet around next two stitches. So yarn over, insert the hook around next stitch from back to front to back again. And yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Again, yarn over, insert the hook around next stitch from back to front to back again. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then repeat this. Make one front post double crochet around next front post double crochet. And make one back post double crochet around next two double crochets. One. And two. Again. Front post double crochet around next front post and back post double crochet around next two double crochets. One and two. And repeat this until the end. Make one front post double crochet around each front post double crochet and make one back post double crochet around each double crochet. I repeat that until the end. Okay, at the end, make a slip stitch into first front post double crochet. And now I want to repeat round two. So chain two and make one front post double crochet around same stitch. Insert the hook around same stitch from front to back to front again and yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through two and pull through two and make one double crochet into next two back post double crochets yarn over, insert hook into next back post double crochet and make one double crochet again, make one double crochet into next back post double crochet and repeat these three stitches one front post double crochet around next front post and one double crochet into next two back posts one and two again one front post around next front post and one double crochet into next two back posts one and two. I make one front post double crochet around each front post double crochet until the end and make one double crochet into each back post double crochet until the end of the round. I repeat this sequence and then I'll come back. At the end, join with slip stitch into first front post double crochet and start next round with chain two and i want to repeat two rows below one front post double crochet around first stitch and one back post double crochet around next two double crochets one and two and repeat that one front post double crochet around next front post and one back post double crochet around next two double crochets. I make one front post double crochet around each front post double crochet until the end and make one back post double crochet around each double crochet until the end. I repeat this sequence until the end of this round and after that for other rounds we have to repeat these two rounds round three and round four and these two rounds several times must be repeated until the height of our hat reach the desired size and after that we come back to uh, close the top of the hat 
Okay, I repeated round two and round three several times, ending with round three, which contains front post double crochets and back post double crochets. And then now the height of my hat has reached 18. And now I have to decrease the top of the hat. So I want to decrease the number of stitches in this round chain two and make one front post double crochet around first stitch here and then decrease next two double crochets for decrease yarn over insert hook into next double crochet yarn over pull up a loop and again insert hook into the next double crochet yarn over pull up a loop and i have four loops on the hook yarn over pull through three and yarn over pull through two and it's a decrease stitch yarn over and make one front post double crochet around next front post and again decrease next two double crochets yarn over insert hook into the next yarn over pull up a loop and yarn over pull up a loop and complete a decrease double crochet or you can use uh, another method for decrease double crochets First, I make one front post double crochet around next front post. And for another method, you can use this method. Insert drop into next, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Again, yarn over, insert drop into the next, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through three. And these two methods are the same and uh, you can choose one of them. And I want to use first method and repeat this sequence make one front post double crochet and one decrease double crochet until the end at the end I make one slip stitch into first front post double crochet and for next round again chain two and make one front post double crochet around first front post and make one back post double crochet around next decrease stitch yarn over insert the hook from back to front to back again around decrease double crochet and yarn over pull through and yarn over pull through two pull through two again make one front post double crochet around next front post and make one back post double crochet around next decrease stitch I make one front post double crochet and one back post double crochet. Again, front post double crochet around all front posts and back post double crochet around all decrease stitches and repeat until the end. At the end, I make the slip stitch into first front post double crochet. And in this round again, uh, I want to decrease the number of stitches, so make two stitches and I want to decrease these two front posts together and skip uh, middle double crochet, okay? So, yarn over, insert the hook around first front post, skip next double crochet and insert the hook around next front post and keep them yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two it's a decrease front post double crochet around these two front post double crochet and i skipped a middle double crochet and then i make one double crochet into next back post double crochet here okay again yarn over insert the hook around next front post and next front post and skip middle double crochet keep them together yarn over pull through two and make one decrease front post double crochet and after that make one double crochet into next back post double crochet and repeat that Decrease two front post double crochets together with skipping middle double crochet. 
and make one double crochet into the next back post double crochet again decrease next two front posts together and skip middle double crochet between them and make one front post double crochet and then make one double crochet into next back post double crochet i repeat this sequence for other stitches at the end uh, two stitches remaining first is front post double crochet and second is back post double crochet i make one front post around front post double crochet and one double crochet into back post and then make a slip stitch into first front post of this round and for next round uh, make two chains and one front post around first decrease front post double crochet and then make one back post around next double crochet this round is the last round of my hat I make one front post around each front post double crochet and one back post around each double crochet again make one front post around next decrease front post double crochet and one back post around next double crochet and repeat that one front post around next front post and one back post around next double crochet repeat that until the end of the round okay i finished the last round and at the end make one slip stitch into first front post double crochet and then fasten off and leave a long tail and cut the yarn and pull this yarn to tight and I want to close this hole so turn the hat inside out and with a tapestry needle weave the yarn through the stitches of last round in and out in and out these stitches are the stitches of last round I pull the yarn through again weave the yarn through next stitches of last round until the end and at the end pull the yarn tightly and close this hole completely okay and then secure with stitches at top of the hat Now cut the yarn Turn the hat to right side again And now my hat is ready And uh, you can attach a pom-pom at top of the hat if you want I attached a pom-pom at top of the hat I hope this video will be useful for you. If you like that, please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day.